Hi, I'm Oli from Flitz. We're a 45-year-old manufacturer of the Flitz polishing products. The Flitz has been sold in the gun industry for the last 42 years. What I want to show you is the Flitz polishing paste. We're going to start with this first. The polishing paste comes in a cream form, and you can use it in anything from gun bluing to stainless steel to nickel, carbon, whatever you choose. Now, this is what they call factory hot bluing. And what I want to make a statement here, this is what we call cold bluing. Cold bluing is actually a, like a magic marker, basically like ink you're putting on. That's something that flits will take off. So cold bluing is something very temporary just to make it look pretty, but it's really not a long-term situation. The factory hot bluing, like we're having here, is done something and done it at the manufacturing level. Now you smear this on. And I'm gonna take a microfiber here, a little soft cloth from flits, and show you how it removes the surface rust and the oxidation on that bluing. And you'll see here in my cloth, you'll see the rust right in the cloth. Now, it doesn't take off a lot, but bluing is what they call a controlled form of rust. And what that means is, it's put on with heat and acids. And once you put this on, Flitz leaves it to a beautiful finish, like we're doing over here. But when we're done, we actually want to protect it. Now, Flitz will protect for two to three months. Fantastic. Now, the Flitz rifle and gun wax is actually made of beeswax and carnauba. So it's all natural. There's no odor, there's no smell. It's something, actually, when I pour a little bit out here in my hand, you'll see, it looks like hand cream. And when I put this on, it's very, very soft. Now this can be put over all the, the entire firearm. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put the Flitz wax directly over the gun bluing, like this here. Now I'm just putting on by hand. I'll take, again, a soft cloth, like a microfiber like this, and wipe it off. One thing nice with the gun wax, you don't need to let it dry. It doesn't need to let harden. It's a natural product. You're putting it on and wiping it off. The best part about it is this. I'm gonna show you how fast it beads up. This is just plain water. As soon as water hits it, you can't get water to stick on that gun barrel. It's phenomenal. And if you're duck hunting or deer hunting, this is a major, major issue. As you know, it's snow and ice. But Flitz has recently come up with a product called a ceramic sealant. Now, when you spray this on, it's almost like water. So you can spray it on the firearm on bluing, like this. You can spray it on the wood, on the stock, whatever you put it on. And when you wipe it off, it'll dry, but it dries super hard. Now this product, the sealant, takes actually two to three days to cure. But once it cures, that will last at least four to five months. And you'll see the water even beads up easier with the sealant on it than with the wax. Because the sealant is a man-made material, and because it is man-made, it's not gonna break down from heat like a natural wax would, but it will hold up much longer for you. If you're using the firearm a lot, the gun sealant is a much longer-term protection. So let's start now with inside the gun. We're gonna start with our Flitz bore cleaner. Now the bore cleaner, is basically like the Flitz product, but a little different thickness. It's a thinner product, easier to use this way when you're doing it, especially on a, um, something small, like inside a bore. This is a gun cleaning patch. We put this through the, our tool here. I'm gonna take a little product and actually just pour it right on top. And then I saturate the cloth with the bore cleaner. And once I've done that, Dry my hands here. We're going to take it in the bore of the firearm and you just simply put it in. And now this is just one application. You can see the oxidation, the dirt, oils, and different things that's built up inside here. Now by doing this in the bore itself, it normally takes, I would say, two to three swabs. And you can see how dirty it's become like this. And once that's done, we simply take another cloth here. You feed it through almost like a needle. And um, we'll go through it again. So after three patches like that, you're basically finished. I do like to take the gunner rifle wax and give it an extra shot inside the firearm or the sealant. And the reason I do that, it just gives it that much better protection. Once this is done, six months, 
it'll last without any problem at all. The, the ceramic sealant is a really good long-term preservative, as I was mentioning. I'm going to show you here, put this rifle down for a second, and I'm going to get one that's basically a polished and a stainless steel finish. Now for the same reason, this firearm is what they call a matte finish on a stainless, as you can see. And it's something that um, Flitz is definitely safe on using and so on. And we're going to take the Flitz polish in the same way on this firearm. Now I'm just going to do one section here to show before and after, and then we'll finish the firearm right up. I'm putting it on top. I take a soft cloth. We use these Flitz microfibers, they're super thick, very absorbent. You pull off any residue, oil, you can see all the residue here in the cloth that comes off. Then I simply take it and buff it. Now, again, this is a metal finish, but if you look from here to here, you can actually see a difference. This is a duller matte finish, where this is a matte finish yet, but much slicker and cleaner. Same scenario, you have two choices. You have the gun and rifle wax, which is again beeswax and carnauba. And you also have the flitz sealant, which is the ceramic coating. So by putting this on top, it gives you, a, again, a more long-term preservative. It doesn't take very much. It's very quick and easy. And again, as I said earlier, you don't need to let it dry. You can take it off right away because it is a natural wax. It's made of carnauba and beeswax. Again, the same firearm, you get a phenomenal preservative out of it. You, can, you can't get the water to stick on here. The same thing if you get a fingerprint, it just wipes right off. It's just super easy. Now the sealant, he's the exact same principle. There's no difference in application except you're spraying it on and wiping it off. Again, you'll see when the water gets on top, how it just beads up just beautifully. It's super, super easy as far as maintaining goes. And that's where the Flitz products come in. They're not only safe, they're easy to use, and they leave a preservative. Right here on the bolt itself, you can see this, is, of course, is a stainless steel finish. Now let me just do part of this area. I'm gonna take a little bit of flitz. As you can see, a very small amount. A little dab on here. And I'm gonna take a, a cotton a gun patch, and I'm just gonna do part of this area. I just wanna show you all the oxidation that you don't think is on the stainless steel, but just from this gun being stored, the powder and things from firing, look at all the oxidation it pulls right off. Now this stock is a man-made material. It is not wood like the other one with the Winchester, but um, this is something you can use also as well, either the, either the wax or the sealant. They both work as well. Let me just do this one area over here to kind of give you a little bit before and after, put a little bit on. And as you can see, when you put it on, it really darkens up a little bit. It leaves a nice finish on basically a hybrid of plastic. Also protects it from perspiration. And here you can actually see a before and after on the firearm, this is before, that being after. So the sealant is a great product to use even on a man-made uh, plastic like this for protection. We wanna show you a very classic. This is called a buck 110 are the most famous knives, anything from motorcycle riders to gun collectors to hunters. Same exact principle. Now this knife, of course, is made of brass. And it's a stainless steel blade. The blade looks pretty rusted, just probably from moisture sitting around here and different things. But I'm gonna put a dab on the brass, and I'm gonna put a dab here on the stainless. Now let me take a new microfiber and um, show you exactly how fast this can work on a brass bolster. And look at that, folks. In a couple, five seconds, I got that like brand new. Very, very easy. And again, the Flitz polish is a non-abrasive cream, as I was explaining earlier. Now it takes a little rubbing, it's not magic. But look at that blade. Man. Wow, is that all standing? Or is that all standing? Look at that. Look at the rust that's pulled off. Because as we all know, stainless steel is exactly what it says, stainless, not stain proof. So I wanna remind you, when you have stainless steel, you can get to your best grade of stainless, you still have problems with moisture and rusting. I'm gonna take a little water, 
and you get the exact same protective coating as I was showing before for these right up for you. Now all these products, the Flitz does leave a protective coating, Flitz has a preservative built into it, but if you want a long-term protective finish, especially if you're going to put the item somewhere where it's moist or you're collecting somewhere and it's being sorted out, I would definitely recommend putting the wax or the sealant on top. I'm putting the polish in the cloth because of course the blade here I don't want to cut myself, but it comes off super, super quick with the rust here and things. I'll do the back of the bolster the same way. And once Flitz is in the cloth, it's almost impregnated. You can see the black residue like this. I put it on and buff right off. Now, if you notice, I put over the wood, I put over the brass, over the stainless steel, of course, and also nickel. When you take a knife such as a case, a good collector's piece that way, case uses a lot of nickel in their, in their um, cutlery, and you can see all the black residue that pulls off, which again, it's fairly common when you're doing brass, stainless, and nickel. But once I've taken that off, again, I take the cloth and I buff it. And I didn't time myself here, but I'm guessing four to five minutes, I have this knife looking really, really handsome again. Something you'd be proud to wear, proud to display, or to even use. Now again, this is a buck, actually a very old knife, probably, I'm guessing at least 50, 60 years old. It's probably one of the oldest um, knife styles been around for a long, long time. But you can see what we've done here. I'm very, very impressed myself, and I'm sure you are too. This is super easy to use and great to handle. Now, like anything else, industries have changed, times have changed, and you're going now to what they call tactical matte finishes. So that's why Flitz developed what we call a tactical matte finish cleaner. Now, this product comes in spray form, again, very environment friendly. You can use it on anything from the handle, like this, to the blade. And by putting this on top, it's a simple process. Just wipe it off. And look, as it dries, let me just make sure I get a nice clean area in the cloth here. As it dries, how nice that looks. It's still a nice flat finish, but you've removed any oil, any grease, your fingerprints. If it's a tactical mat finish like this, our tactical spray is phenomenal and easy. Now again, this is a cleaner, and I don't want to sell you to you this is a protective coating. Again, I'm going to put some water over it and just watch what happens. The water is going to stick. See how the water does, it just puddles there. It's not beating up. And that's because this is a cleaner. This is designed to take off grease, oil, fingerprints, and so on. If you want to protect something from your perspiration, your acid, then we have two choices. You have the gunner rifle wax, or you have the ceramic sealant. Now, they both work well, but again, as I was explaining earlier, the, the ceramic sealant is much longer term protection. And one thing about ceramic sealant, when you put ceramic finishes on a flat mat like this, they don't make it shiny. It gives you great protection, but you're gonna see, I wipe it off, super easy. One thing about the ceramic coating, it's not about rubbing or anything. You put this on your automobile or any, any finish, you'll be super impressed. This ceramic finish is a very long-term preservative. You can use it on anything from your home, your golf cart, sporting goods items. Now that's how simple it is. Now what I've done in this case, now we've protected the metal. And not only is it super smooth, by getting water on here, you're gonna see how the, how the preservative it's on top and how it beads up for you like that. So it doesn't puddle. So by using a ceramic finish, not only will you get a long-term protective finish against fingerprints and moisture, it'll keep it up that way for you too. Now when you do use a ceramic sealant like this, it will take two to three days to cure. 
So when you're putting it on, it's dry to the touch, but two to three days from now, it'll get extremely hard. That's when it probably really holds up the longest. Some of you might be familiar with the muzzle loaders. And before I mention a company called Henry, the Henry rifle, which is made here in Wisconsin, has a lot of brass on it, brass bolsters and things. And what I want to try to show you, again, how little bit of flitz it takes. And we're going to pour, put a little bit onto here, on top here, put it on the side. And if you're doing part of a muzzle loader, it just takes really half a minute to a minute to brighten it up, take off that oxidation and the tarnish. Here you can see how black the residue is. Again, I take a soft cloth and I wipe it. And that's always to it. It's just that simple, folks. Now, on another piece over here, normally when we go shooting, we have shooting glasses. Now these goggles here, I just use more for safety goggles and you can see how dull they are. I mean, the one thing about flits, if you notice on the packaging here, it says metal, plastic, and fiberglass polish. In other words, you can use this not just on metal, I was showing before on wood and on stock. You can use it on plastics, fiberglass, and acrylics. Now, we're gonna take a small dab of it like this. And again, I'll, I'll put it on with my finger here just to show I'm using it. And this basically what's in here is scuff marks just from laying around. Now I'm gonna take, again, a clean microfiber. And I wanna massage the polish inside here. And again, I wanna to explain to you, everybody here, when I talk about abrasiveness, People always ask how abrasive is it Flitz? I said Flitz carries a four to 5,000 abrasive factor. But when I'm doing this like this, there's enough rouge in this product that I can take off scuff marks, chalking from the sun, and oxidation, and make it 100% clear again. Now, when people see to my tumbler here, they always wonder, well, what, what is this device? Well, there's either a tumbler or a vibrator, they call them. And these machines are designed, of course, to shake very, very quickly. This is what we call our Tumbler Media Additive. Now what this is, a thinned out version of the Flitz Polish. Because it's thinned out, you can pour it directly in the machine. Super easy to use. Now a machine like this that carries basically a pound of media, you're putting in one capful per pound of media. When you put this in, you're pouring the product directly into the machine itself. Then as the machine turns and tumbles, it's mixing the product with the corn cob itself and gets saturated. For show and tell, I'm gonna take the tumbler media additive and squirt some directly in the cloth here. And as I put in the cloth, I'm gonna take this real big shell, I call the, the mega one, easy to see, and we'll also take one of the smaller ones up here. But I want to give you an example how fast this product works, because when you tumble with it, there's two reasons this works so quickly. Number one, there's no ammonia in the product. Ammonia is the worst thing you can use in a tumbler vibrator because it embrittles the brass and deadens the, the, the primer. When I put this on, you can see how black the residue is. Amazing what comes off. Just like I showed before, in a couple seconds though, look at that luster. Now this is why people use this in a tumbler vibrator. Flitz will speed up the tumbling time at least three times. If you're spending six to eight hours in a tumbler right now, you're gonna spend max two to three hours. It's gonna be a lot faster for you. It also leaves a protective coating. It seals it, prevents the air from getting at it, so it keeps the brass from tarnishing the same way. So when you're doing your reloads, it's something that stays clean. And um, I do want to point out on our little display back here, we have a couple items that are sold in the gun industry. We call them starter packs. Let me put this down here for a second. And what I'm trying to display over here quickly for you is this. This is a gun and knife care kit. This comes with a tube of polish, which is the same thing as we have in the can here. It comes with a gun and rifle wax and also comes with a small bottle of a spray cleaner for flat matte, for your, your black, your AR type guns, your uh, flat matte finishes as we showed on knives here. And it comes with a super ultra thick Flitz microfiber and instructions how to use it. This is a great little Christmas gift. 
It has everything in it to start out with. Once you start using flits, I know you'll be buying bigger sizes, but this makes a, a nice handy kit, especially if you want to put in a gun case with you as you're traveling. All those items you can take in a gun case. They're non flammable, you can fly with them. There's nothing um, hard about this product, it really isn't. Now, we also, from other knife manufacturers, have asked us to create a knife we call restoration kit. So, what we've done here, we've taken a flits polish, which is liquid form. Again, this is a thinner version so you can use it easier in larger areas and cloths and so on. It comes with a DMT knife, a diamond knife sharpener and a break-free lubricant, which is um, your gun lubricant, knife lubricant. Comes with a pin needle in here, very easy to use. Everything we sell is in a full money-back guarantee. Has been for the last 45 years. There's no hang-ups. Um, we're a family-owned company based here in Wisconsin. Um, we're very blessed. We have a, a great product, a great team of people here in the Midwest. If you call our phone numbers, we have great customer service. We can take care of you anytime, answer, answer any questions. And if you go online, you'll see our hundreds, thousands of reviews on anything from Amazon to your normal YouTube um, customers. It amazes me how many of our customers take the time and energy to create their own videos, how to show flits on what it does. And it's a real high when you work for a company that people always brag about the product. Thanks again for joining us.